<laughs> uh, yeah, good old Facebook Marketplace. Gaming Beast PC, $300 million. And of course, you'll only find this in Detroit, Michigan. PC is technically brand new. It started a fire once or twice. No issues other than that. Keep your children at least 100 feet away from the computer when it's turned off. Two miles when on. Have a fire extinguisher available at all times. A radiation suit would be useful. If possible, a paramedic team on standby. Other than that, it is safe. Every now and then the nuclear reactor inside might need changing every one to two minutes. First picture is marketing only. Use at the risk of others. And what a beautiful hack job this is. So look, all jokes aside, this isn't really what I want to talk about in this video. I just wanted to get your feet wet. This is the kind of stuff you find sometimes on Facebook Marketplace. This clearly is just satirical, but there are actual listings out there from folks who just think they're living in the past. Prices for graphics cards specifically have corrected massively over the past 6 to 12 months, but there are those out there who insist on living in 2020 and 2021. Specifically, a lot of these folks are ex-miners, or maybe they're still mining, they're just not using graphics cards anymore because they, they really can't. The, car, the, the, the cryptos they were mining either plummeted in value or the way in which you mine them completely changed, so graphics cards are pretty much obsolete. Now they're stuck with inventory they don't need anymore. The problem is the market's totally corrected, so they're limited in terms of how much they can actually recoup from their initial investment. That is where they're hoping folks hop onto Facebook Marketplace and uh, have no idea what they're doing. Maybe offer to buy all of them at your asking price, and there you go. They got you off scot-free, but we know better. Us PC enthusiasts, we know we can do a, a, like five seconds worth of due diligence on eBay or elsewhere and figure out the graphics card prices are a lot lower than these ads are making them seem. Are you ready? These are, uh, <laughs> these are pretty interesting. Stay with me. NZXT's H7 series cases offer plenty of hardware support and a clean aesthetic sure to complement any build. Choose between white or black variants as well as standard, flow, or elite trims for the right mixture of airflow and beauty. There's plenty of room up top for a fan rad combo larger than just a single 120 or 140, and support for up to a 360 mil up front exists for beefy cooling wherever it's needed. You'll also find several fans included depending on the model. If you choose a white one, you'll get white fans, so that's nice. NZXT cases are overall great values as you'll find and you can learn more about them by clicking the link below. So let's jump right into the first ad shall we? This one's um it's it's a bit of a doozy. Mixed card mining rig is the title. $5,000 asking price. This was listed just over a week ago as of time of filming. It says used for a couple months everything basically brand new. Um yeah. Somehow I doubt that. He's got an Asus B250 mining expert in here, frankly a CPU that's way overkill for what he probably needs, 16 gigs of system RAM, and this plethora of GPUs that are quite old. Now, there's nothing wrong with these cards. I mean, if you can get them for the right price, save maybe the R9s, uh, because these run a bit hot. Everything else here is perfectly viable, again given a decent price and you can get them for decent prices now in late 2022. The issue is he's asking $5,000 for all of this and I find this ad to be a bit disingenuous because he says that everything is basically brand new when that is literally impossible because all of these cards were released at least two to three years ago. And the R9 390s and the RX 580, I mean th these cards are several several generations old, same with the 1060 and uh, the 1070 here. So how is that, how is this even possible? I'm gonna do some quick eBay math here just, uh, just so you guys know what we're working with. So uh, 2060, I'm gonna ballpark it, let's say $300. That's a lot more than I think you could get them for now on eBay. I think you can get them for just over $200, which is a pretty good price. But he's only got one of those, so 300 plus for 1660, let's say 150 bucks plus another 150 for the 1070. Uh, and then we've got four 1060s, it should be around $100, so we're gonna add $400 to that. And then two 580s, we're just gonna say 100 bucks a piece, but you can get them cheaper, it depends on if they're four or eight gig models, and if they're specifically mining variants or not. Uh, so let's just say plus 200. And then an R9 390, you shouldn't be paying more than 100 bucks for an R9 390X. Uh, so plus 100. Plus, we'll make it 200, 100 each for the three, the 390s. That's still, again, we're giving him a huge benefit of the doubt because those prices were pretty high. But still, in a worst case scenario, let's say you overpaid for each of these cards individually on eBay, you're looking at $1,500 all in for the cards. 16 gigs of RAM's like 50 bucks. Uh, i7, 7700K, maybe 100, $150 at the worst. A B250 mining expert, uh, 100 bucks. The power supply to run all this stuff, even though it's not listed, I'm assuming you're gonna get a power supply. Uh, a few hundred dollars. I mean, 
two grand, maybe, and this person wants $5,000. So you, uh, you see where this is going, right? Let's move on to the next listing. This here is titled Crypto Mining Rig. It was originally listed for $5,500 and brought down to four grand. Woo, ain't that a dose of reality? A $1,500 price cut. That's like 20% off right then and there. And uh, well, the first picture looks pretty good. In fact, all these pictures are decent. I mean, you just got like nice lighting and, and whatnot. Uh, it looks like it was professionally built. This is a nice mining setup. I, again, I'm, I'm not super familiar with mining, but this looks very clean. You can see the motherboard back there, the beefy power supply to run all these cards. Uh, so it looks like it was better taken care of than the previous listing. The issue is it's still obviously massively overpriced in my view. So you're going to get five graphics cards here, 3070 TIs, and he's got them listed at $1,000 each times five for five grand invested at time of build three months ago, have a whole year for the warranties, have the boxes and all, not to mention the warranty information. He's got two 1200 watt power supplies. He says are worth 365 each. Of course, this is all technically used by this point. He's got, for some reason, again, another Core i7 ninth gen chip. I'm, I'm not sure why. Uh, and then, you know, the frames, a hundred bucks, the keyboard and mouse. I don't know about all this stuff, but the, the real bulk of the deal is obviously in the cards. And he says, he makes a few claims here that are just really weird. So first off, he built it for a client. They didn't have the money. He said he built it a few months back. He doesn't mind with it. Everything is in pristine condition. Have all the boxes for all the hardware ready to go. And then he says that these are brand new cards, but again, they can't be brand new. They can't technically be in perfect condition because you did say that you mined with them. He says this rig was originally built for somebody. I don't use it to mine currently. He sold one card, uh, so he only has five for this rig, but they're in excellent condition. I have all the boxes, three months old. This miner never sees temperatures above 35 degrees Celsius, very efficient, ready to mine. But then he says right above it, I only mined with it for one month and received a total of 0.22 Ethereum with five cards. So these aren't new. They can't technically be new because you did mine with them and you're just hoping that we take your word uh, and that you only mined with them for one month and not one year. You, you never really know. And I love this part. The reason I am selling it a little cheaper is because the graphics cards have dropped a little bit. Dropped by like 50%. I mean, if you think 50% is a little bit, fine. But that's literally how far down some of these prices have come in six months. Now you can find 3070s and 3070 Ti's all day for under $400 used. Um, if you multiply 400 times five, that's two grand in cards. Again, so that's less than, well, that's about half, I guess I should say. It's, that's about half the price he's asking. Power supplies, yes, those are worth something. The mining frame, I don't, who, but who's really mining it? I mean, that's what I really wanna know, I guess, at this point is who's actually mining anymore? Like the, the Cryptocurrencies across the board have pretty much plummeted in value. There, there is a, a, occasionally a bit of resurgence and then it always ends up correcting, but is, is anyone actually wanting to mine? And if you are, is this sort of mining rig something you're interested in? Anyway, moving on, here's another older rig, uh, three GPU mining rigs, so three individual ones. You see, she's got a nice little stack here with 17 GPUs, woo wee. Six R9 390Xs, five R9 390s and six RX 580s, and he wants $4,200. Now this one's apparently having a few problems selling because it was listed 22 weeks ago in Delaware, Ohio. Well, wow, that's uh, that's that's pretty far out, my friend. I think something is very wrong with your listing. Let's see, I have some, I have a good feeling it's something to do with the price. So he's got all the cables, PSUs, motherboards, SSDs, so wipe drives for delivery, Hive OS is free and easy to install. All GPUs should be in working order. There are a couple that need a fan replay. Okay, so <laughs> I, I'd i wager there's more than a couple. If you're willing to disclose that, there's probably some pretty big issues with some of these cards. You ran these machines for about a year. They've just been sitting collecting dust. About a year, I don't know. These are pretty old cards, unless you bought them all used uh, within the last 12 months. I don't know, you maybe could have mined with these for several years, because these are all several year old SKUs. Even if you don't plan on mining, you could make money just parting these out. I just want to free up the space in my apartment. Well, if you could make money parting these out, why are you not doing that? That's what I want. I mean, what, are you doing me a favor? He's, he's running a charity, folks. That's what it is. 
He's doing it for the good of mankind. So let's go ahead and whip out the trusty TI-84 eBay calculator here. Uh, I'm just gonna do some quick math. 17 GPUs, six of those are R9-390Xs. Again, you shouldn't be paying more than $100 each for those. So we're gonna round that up to $600 plus five R9-390s. Again, another $100 a piece at the worst, I would say. So plus 500 and then six 580s. Again, we don't know if they're four or eight gig models. If they're eight gig models, they're probably a little, little more expensive, but still shouldn't be more than $100 a piece at this point. So plus 600 for those. That gives us a grand total of $1,700. I wouldn't pay more than 100 bucks for this huge mining rack in the background. Uh, the two power supplies are worth some. Actually, he's got four here, it looks like. Um, he hasn't really done a great job listing all the specs apart from the cards, unless the cards are the only things he's selling. But, uh, it, you know, we're, we're, we're literally thousands of dollars off here. There, there's just, we're just not even close. Now this next listing, largest mining rig yet in this video. So here you have it, GPU Ethereum mine 720 mega hash per second. There, is that right? I don't know. I don't know what the metric they use. Anyway, $8,500 listed 19 weeks ago in Cheshire, Connecticut. You know, these are having problems selling, folks. This is, these are huge red flags. If you've seen a listing like this and you're just wondering, well, I wonder if this is a good price or not. If the listing is still up here after 19 weeks, maybe just walk away. There's plenty of other ads out there. Let's see, what other ads do we have here? Oh my gosh, Ethereum mining rig pays in Bitcoin though, to be clear, but mines Ethereum, I don't know what that means. $7,000 listed again, 23 weeks ago in Baltimore, Maryland. I know you can't see that, my, my window's blocking it. Anyway, Ethereum mining rig contains the following cards. AMD Radon RX 6700 XT, 12 gig. He has three of those, I'm assuming that's what the X3 means. Uh, he's got uh, a single RX 6800 XT, a single RX 6800, so five cards in total. He's got a power supply rig, I'm assuming that's like the, the, the chassis, monitor, keyboard, mouse, and then an NVIDIA GeForce GT 1030, which I'm assuming he uses just like his uh, console stuff. I don't know, he probably doesn't have integrated graphics on the CPU. Anyway, the, the real value here, again, is in the cards, he doesn't even specify what power supply he's using or what other components are in this rig. It doesn't look like anything in here is super fancy. You see that green PCB back there, so it's probably a pretty cheap motherboard. Uh, so I'm just gonna account for the price of the cards and then we'll tack on a few extra hundred dollars for the power supplies. So with my eBay graphing TI-89 plus calculator here, let's see, five times 500, gee, I wonder what that could be. $2,500 worst case for the lot of cards and he wants $7,000 in total for this whole setup. Um, I'm not sure where he's expecting to recoup the remaining $4,500 here. I just, I, I I don't see it. And again, I'm not surprised. Miners are living in the past. I've got two more here. This one's, <laughs> this one's pretty good. Uh, so he calls it Miner NVIDIA 13096360. I don't know, let, let me move this out of the way so you can see. Yeah, $6,500 asking price listed in Bedford, Ohio. Plug and play on Hive OS. Core i3-9100F, makes sense. You don't need an expensive processor. 6 3060s, he's got a Biostar BTC Pro 2.0. I don't know, I'm assuming this is the motherboard. I, I don't know. Uh, he's got, uh, I'm well, he's gonna have riser cables, of course. He's got a 500 gig SATA hard disk drive or SSD, I don't know. Uh, Corsair Vengeance LPX 32 gigs, six, what? Is it 32 gigs or 16 gigs? What is this? And then a power supply, 1,000 plus, 1,000 watt, 80 plus gold, fully modular, okay, beta cooling fans, Strix, NVIDIA, 3090, golly, this is like such a choppy spec list. Uh, one of those, okay. It's been mining for roughly 30 days. I'm gonna go ahead and push the doubt button on this line, but uh, we'll see. Built for a customer that couldn't finish making payments. Gee, this seems to be a recurring theme. Maybe just don't bother. RTX 3060s are on here all day for $300 or less. You can get 3060 Ti's for 300 bucks or less. So we're just gonna stick with $300 for that SKU, and then we'll see what 3090s are selling for, at least what the asking is for these. Uh, $900, this is a defective card. That's 750 for that one, that's pretty cheap. Nine, let's just say 900 bucks, okay? So $900 for the 3090 and what? $300 for the 3060. You know what's coming. The TI-89 Plus Universe 
the Texas Instruments Beast eBay calculator here. Let's go ahead and start off with the 3060s. He's got six of those times 300. That gives us a grand total of $1,800 plus another 900 for that optional 3090. That's a $2,700 graphics card budget. And he's got a couple power supplies. He's got the motherboard. He's got the Core i3. He's got the risers. He's got the chassis, the frame. Let's lump in another, I don't know, even $1,000 for all this stuff, used stuff, mind you. And we're still barely halfway to his asking price. Yeah, I don't think so. Last one then, and I don't even remember which one of these I selected. Oh, yes. It, it's a nice looking mining setup, but it's expensive. This, by the way, is how I have to set up every single one of these. The F12 and then delete the buffers on the left and right so that this thing gets centered. Then we full screen it. There we go. It's a bit of behind the scenes action. So this is a crypto mining rig, six GPU, 3070s. Uh, it's got it listed for $7,500, originally listed for $8,000, and it was all listed 15 weeks ago in Manchester, New Hampshire. Cards are four months old, professionally built crypto mining rig. We'll do 400, I'm assuming, again, I think this is mega hash per second or something like that. On Ethereum, Is I don't know if this is even still the case because Ethereum switched to proof of proof of work or proof of stake, I forget which one. Again, I'm a mining nub. Cards have never exceeded 70 degrees temperature, uh, still have all the boxes for the new 3070 cards. Okay, well these aren't new, just to be clear, they've been mined with. Uh, local pickup or delivery in New England. Okay, so let's get right out of the gate the fact that um, these are pretty clean look. I mean, well, they look dusty, but this is a clean setup. It's a professional looking mining setup. Don't let that deter you, however, from the fact that the whole ad is just super over... Oh my gosh, they are actually pretty dusty. That is that is pretty gross. I would have cleaned those up, especially look at this one back here. There's like stuff growing in these. Yeah, not the best, uh, not the best look. It just I don't know why people think this is okay to take pictures of this stuff and then throw it up there. Anyway, let's do some quick math. We know 3070s are selling for around $400 a piece. Um, let's go ahead and whip out one last time here. Our fancy, handy, dandy Texas Instruments motherload beast of a calculator let's go uh what is it so uh, six times 400 hmm, i wonder what this could be for oh, 2400 okay that is less than half the price that he has this all listed for he doesn't even list what the remaining specs are like the power supplies i don't know i don't know what this is here um i'm assuming it's not worth anything crazy because he didn't bother listing them out so we're just um we're just a few thousand dollars short my friend like like four grand short <laughs> i'm not sure you're willing to come down that far but i have a pretty good feeling that if you don't this ad will be up here for another 15 weeks so i hope you had fun with these uh look there's there's nothing too informative here other than the fact that yes it may appear as though there are decent deals on x mining rigs you can snag a bunch of cards on the cheap but plenty of folks are still living in La La Land, and you, you gotta be careful, especially if a listing is local and you're thinking, oh, I could go pick up these eight cards today, and he's only asking for X amount of dollars. You've really gotta weigh it against what you could buy individual cards for on eBay. First off, on eBay, you get the buyer protection guarantee. If the card shows up and it's defective, it doesn't work, whatever, uh, you can almost always get your money back. I, I don't think I've ever been screwed over by the buyer protection guarantee on the buyer side. As a seller, I've had issues, but on the buyer side, it's usually a done deal. Uh, if you buy local and you have no way to test before you exchange the cash for the products, you could be screwed and you'll, you'll, you'll probably never be able to get in contact with that person again. So that's another risk of dealing locally. Um, I would strongly recommend funneling through either OfferUp or eBay or something like that so that you have somebody on your side in case things go south. Um, it, there, there's a lot of craziness out there. This ad aside, uh, a lot of mining rigs are still extremely expensive. So just be careful out there. If you enjoyed watching this video, let me know by giving this one a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. You can support us on Patreon linked below. Consider joining our public Discord server. And I'll catch you in the next one. My name is Greg. Thanks for learning with me.